Welcome to part two of the whole Siamese cat tutorial. We are going to continue with the main body right now. You have to use your main body color in two bands at a time. We will make the body in two separate parts so it will be slightly bigger, than, but you still only have to use one loom. So let us start, grab two bands of your main body color at a time and we're go basically going to fill the whole loom. So just create a pattern I'm creating right now with two bands at a time. And then we need to assemble everything, attach the legs and create the tail as last. And then your project is uh, nearly finished because we also need to attach the stomach and that will be a, um, well, a, a part where you need to take your time for. These are all two bands at a time. Go diagonally downwards. Whoops, no, not there. Uh, one set in front of that. Yes. Correctly, yes, I am. Then go to your right with two bands at a time until you reach the end of your loom. I am doing this second part right after I uh, did the first part, so um, I'm not sure if that's a clever idea. I will probably be very very tired the rest of the day because of that but i did make a promise so i want this uh, tutorial uh, out there for you guys uh, go downwards diagonally again and continue to the right with two bends at a time again until you reach the end of the loom and these are all sets of two bends we need to mirror the other half of the body, but I will do that with you guys. It's not that I have the same uh, thing prepared on another loom. <laughs> so I will do that with you. Now grab two more white bands and place them upwards here, like this. Then we are going to place the horizontal bands, grip uh, a single white band and double loop it here. Push downwards a tiny bit. The rest will be with two bands at a time stretched across all three pegs as horizontal bands. So your work won't fall apart. Otherwise you will have three loose rows of loom stitches and that would look really weird as body for this cute cat we are creating. There we go and one set of two here. Now we need to grab some single uh, white bands and attach them onto the pegs here. Lay them loose, just like we did with the stomach, so we can stitch the back of the cat together. So just lay them around like this and one there. And that will be it, yes. Yes, this will be the body. But grab your cat head right now and turn your loom like this. We're going to be attaching the head right side up, or actually we are going to attach the neck of the cat. Um, stick your hook through, the set in the center, and the cat head is right side up, so it's looking at ya. And then attach the middle set to the pack on the right. Do nothing with this set, leave that, that will be attached on the opposite side of the body. And we are going to attach this set 
into this pack here. And get that around here. It's very important you leave this tying band around this set here. We will attach this set twice, also to the opposite part of the body. I, I will explain to you when we will do that. But do not remove this tying band here in the center row. You can remove the one on the left. That's totally fine. And we can already loom right now, so go behind this neck and loom up almost until the end. Try to pretend those loose bands are there and simply let them be. Go behind the horizontal bands and loom over. Of course, we will attach legs. Loom one set further and stop after this one. Because we need to loom diagonally first before we can close this off. <coughs> and we can actually already attach uh, the legs if you want to. So turn your loom. I loom this first so the most loose bands are secured right now. So it won't go anywhere. Grab your front legs. Those are with two tied off bends. And have your paw face to the right, to the, to the head of the cat. And then we are going to attach this on those two pegs in order. So stick your hook through the right set. Attach it around this peg. And stick your hook to the left set and attach it around the third peg in the center, like this. We're going to attach it before we loom. Now grab your back leg, same process. Paw have to face to the right. You can easily flip this around, but have it face to the right. And make sure this is the back of the leg. So there's a stitch extra here. And we are going to attach this to those three pegs. Also in order, I will start in the center this time. Attach it to this peg. This is a tiny bit tricky because it will be in between your loom, all those sets. Attach it to this set, and, there are, and then there is one set left, and we're going to attach it to this peg here. There we go. So it should look like this right now. Legs are attached, and then we can continue a looming. So first go behind all these bands here, grab the top two loops and loom them to the left, like this. Then we can, I will do the bottom part first. So loom upwards, you can flip over this leg and simply let go after you loomed that stitch. Continue looming upwards, upwards. There we go. Same thing with the back leg. You might need to flip over the back leg a tiny bit. And we can actually already loom diagonally upwards like this. And just let go. This will be fine after we loomed the middle row. Go behind all these bands here again and loom over. This can be a tiny bit tricky, only grab the bottom two and loom over. And simply loom until you reach the end of this figure we placed on the loom. Be careful with the leg part. There are many bands there, only make sure you only grab the bottom two and go behind all the horizontal bands. Only the bottom two. 
and then we can loom diagonally. I think I lost one band there, so I will replace that. There has to be a loose band there also. And then continue looming the last two stitches. Then grab a single different color band. And then we can carefully remove this part of the body from the loom. Those leg parts will be quite tight, so you might need your hook to help you out there to get it from your loom. Or if you are confident in not just rip it from the loom, but I'm always afraid I break my bands when I do that. So most of the time I will use my hook. And the thicker parts of the body, oh, this one's well. Pull outwards those white bands you place because we will use that to stitch the body together. Oh, this is so cute! You can basically see the body already. This is half, half of the body, and we will create the second half, of course. You can remove those tiny bands from the legs. You can also leave them. I will remove them. Because they are stuck in between and I don't want them to be stuck in between. Do not remove the tiny band from the neck. So only from the leg parts. So you should have three tiny bands left. And let us put the second half of the cat on the loom right now, so put that aside for now and let us continue with the second part of the body. So two bands at a time the whole time. Now we're going to mirror it and place it um, here. Just continue until you reach the end of your loom. We're basically doing exactly the same thing, but just mirror in a mirrored way. Also, when attaching, we also have to mirror how we attach the legs. Of course, go diagonally here and continue until you reach the end of the loom with two bands of your main body color at a time. And then we are going to place two bands diagonally again. And continue until we reach the end of our loom. And then we place down exactly the same figure but in a mirrored way. Oops, those are three bands. I only need two of you. And I'll grab two again and place them upwards at the end. Oh, I was a bit out of, of uh, the video, I see, but out of the camera. But it's just simply placing them uh, straight on until you finish your loom. And these two are important, so place these two here. And then we can already place the horizontal band, so a single white band double looped here, and the rest will be with two bands stretched across everything. We don't have to attach uh, loose bands to this part because we only need them on one part, so that's quite simple. These are all two bands also stretched across. Now grab your cat, have it right side up. 
And now let us grab the same set in the center we attached before. That's why I told you not to remove the tying band and wrap it around this bag. That same set like this. And then stick your hook through, it's right sided by the way. Stick your hook through the set on the right and attach it on the back next to it. So it should look like this. Right now with the head the right side up, then turn your loom. Then we are going to attach the opposite legs. This time have your paw face to the left or face to the cat head again and attach it on those two bags here. So I have my hook through the set on the right and I will attach it here. And then stick your hook through the set on the left and attach it on the back next to it. There we go. This will be your front leg. Wrap your back leg. Have it like this. Also the paw facing to the left. And this will be the thicker part. And we are going to place those three loose ends to those three pegs here. I start in the center, you can also start at the right or the left, it doesn't matter as long as you touch it on the right pegs. It will look totally fine and stick your hook through correctly. So you have all loops around your hook. Like this, and then we can start looming. First we're going to do this part again, so grab the bottom two, loom over and continue looming upwards. But don't loom past the last two sets, leave two sets on this side. Uh, stop after this one so leave two bags over don't loom them go behind this neck band grab the bottom or the top two and loom to the right and then uh, continue at the bottom only grab the bottom two make sure you are behind all these bands here only grab the bottom two, flip over that leg if needed, and continue looming the bottom part, bottom row, or the row on your right. I'm saying bottom because this will be the stomach. We will attach the stomach there, so it will be sort of the bottom of the cat. Flip over that leg, and also loom this one diagonally again and then we can continue with the middle row this will be the most trickiest part only grab the bottom two make sure you go behind all the horizontal bands Boom upwards The bottom two, this will be a tiny bit thick, but you can do it. I missed one, but that can happen, just get it around there. And loom diagonally again. And then continue looming up the last two sets. Also, tie off this last set. There we go. And carefully remove this part from the loom. And then we basically can remove every tying band we have on there. There we go. Yay! Awesome. Uh, yeah, remove all tying bands from everything. We don't need to have any left anymore. 
because beside the tail everything is attached and the tail will be created loose or attached to the back of the cat here. Don't remove those last two by the way, so we do need to leave them, but you can remove every leg time of bend you've placed. It will look so much better if you do. This one is quite tight. I reused it so many times, they are a bit stretched out. There we go. Uh, well, first we're going to attach uh, the cat, we're going to stitch it together before doing anything else. So have it like this, so it's upside down this time. You are looking inside the cat. And then we are going to stitch this together. Stick your hook through these loops and grab that single white band, pull it through. Hold it on your hook, continue, go through the next set, grab that loose band, pull it through everything, also the first single band. Hold it on your hook, go through the next set, grab the next loose white band, pull it through everything and continue your way down this exact same way until you reach the end of the cat. There's a dog hair in between there again. I did clean the table before I started looming. Well, can't get it out right now. So simply continue uh, using this technique until you reach the end of the cat. Just go down a stitch every time. Grab that loose band, pull it through everything. And don't miss any. <coughs> And I see I attached this one in the wrong way. Doesn't matter because this is the last set anyways. I'll do this a little bit different because I attached this one uh, wrong on my cat. I will just pull it through the next set and attach it on the opposite side. You can also do that like this. Uh, C-clip. Yes, I need a C-clip and then we can attach it inside and do the tail part. So stick your hook through some uh, random set here, some random loops, pull through that single band and C-clip it. C-clip here and a random, I think I will use a horizontal band, or not, no, I won't use a random band here to C-clip it to. This will be the inside of the cat, so you will never see it. This will be the cat for now. Looks cute, doesn't it? Yeah. Let's continue with the tail. Uh, you can have your room like this, that doesn't ma matter. We are going to start with our second main body color. One, two, three, four. Count one, two, three. On the fourth pack, double loop a single like this. Hmm? I didn't wrote down if it's double loop. Oh, I didn't double loop it. Okay. Again, grab two bands of your second main body color, do place it from on the fourth peg to the fifth. And continue down a two more, two again, two, one, two, three, four. The rest will be white until you reach the end of your loom. So I will do it like this.
for you guys to see. Those are four sets of your second main body color. The rest will be white. Simply continue with two bands at a time, and the last set will be three bands. So it will be a little bit thicker. So there's three white bands right now. This will be the tail. That's all there is to it. So these are three bands here. Now grab your cat. I will clip off that. Okay. Yes, I broke it. <laughs> okay. I had a single loose band just sticking out there. I uh, ripped it off. So uh, we are going to attach the cat now. So stick your hook through. I am going to loosen up these bands because I think it's prettier if we attach it like that. This is tricky because you can lose the bands and that will be a waste also. Just so make sure you really hold this with your finger if you remove the tying bands. If you even can remove those tying bands. Stay on there please. You can also leave it, but I think it's prettier to, oh, you know what, I will leave it. This isn't going to work right now. Come on. Yes. I got it. Simply stick your hook through those sets. I, will, I won't do that. You can remove the tying bands if you have. So get all those sets around your hook. And get it onto this bag here. All of them. All of it. All of those stitches need to get on there. The cat can be right side up or upside down. It doesn't matter to be honest. And then we can simply loom everything upwards. So those are three bands. Loom them upwards. And then continue looming until you reach the end of the tail. I have my cat right side up, but you can do it both ways. It really doesn't matter. And the last stitch. Well, all there is left to do is tie this up with a second main body color band. So we can hide that band in between, tie that off, remove this from the room, and there we have a cat with a tail. This is so much fun. <laughs> yes, this is the fun part, assembling everything. Um, you can already hide that band inside if you want to by weaving it through the tail part. You can also leave it for later because it probably will pop out and you need to wire your project. So we are going to do the stomach right now. Uh, let me see where I attached uh, the, in the back, I guess. Yes. So we have the stomach right here and this will be the neck part. So we're going to lay this on the cat approximately where you want it to start and to end. Um, I'm going to stick my hook through the double loop bands here, or the horizontal bands on the neck part and pull through that single white band there. That will be the start of my stomach until you reach the end. But we are going to start here. so. I attached it here, pulled it through, and then all we have to do is exactly the same thing as we did um, with attaching the cat. Ooh, so much sun here. <laughs> I'm going to close my uh, curtain here. Yes. Otherwise it will be too bright for you guys to even see what I'm doing. The sun was uh, popping up from behind the clouds here. Really nice, but if, if I show you white things, it will be too bright. 
So then we are going to stick our hook through the sets here and pull through those single bands. The first one I will do like this and then I will grab this one. You know what? I will do this a totally different way. I'll use it to attach both. We are going to do the, exactly the same thing. Stick it through, then you stick your hook through the next set and you will grab Ugh, grab this. This is really something you need to do relaxed and without any disturbance here. And I don't want to attach it like this. I'm going to do this the opposite way. I will use stitches on the on the side. Process will be the same, but I will use the stitches on the side. Don't go in between the horizontal bands. Put it through, stick your hook through the next set, grab the next loose band, come on, and pull it through everything. And you, you have to do this all the way around. Uh, with this stomach until you have all those loose oh come on come on where is the band this is a, a really really something you uh, you need to have patience for to get it cor true correctly and of course I have to show you guys so it will make things a little bit different Normally I will do this quite relaxed, put the music on and have fun doing this, but it's different when you show uh, people how to create something. Because I have to explain myself and I have to be clear about it. And yes, I'm going through the stitches and all. It doesn't matter if you skip the stitch or forget the stitch or the stomach is moved a tiny bit. It really doesn't matter. There is no way to do this perfectly. So you need to be somewhere approximately. That's fine. Close enough. There we go. Uh, this is a bit of a thick stitch, so I will only grab the top two loops there, pull it through, and I will actually leave this on my hook right now, and I will pull through this band here at the bottom of the tail part. Let me see which bands will shall I get. It really doesn't matter which sets you get, simply just pull it through like this, and then we can continue with this set. And we go uh, around the other way. That's basically all there is to it. So you reach the neck part and then we need to stuff it inside. Would be best if you can reach this same C clip, but that is kind of difficult to reach the same thing. And you might want to squeeze a bit on your cat. Close it up. But this is the best way to get it together and uh, not being able to tell you really have done this because it would just look cool this way. No clue what my next video will be. I need to do the lion uh, pencil topper, of course. So I 
we'll do that one and then we'll also do a another uh, bracelet based on uh, twisty pets or inspired by twisty pets bracelets so we'll also do that and I will try to upload one video a week uh, instead of three a week I, I know you guys like it of course but it's a little bit too much for me to handle with my family at home so but I will be working uh -huh, what did I do I will be working on uh, more designs and also more whole designs because I would really like to do a tiger tiny tiger based on this design as you can see I'm not even counting or really just pull it through You won't see it anyways. Those bands. Everything is white here. Because I've done it so many times, I don't even have to check. I know I'm going through the correct sets here. And there is still that same band left. I think I will use it. You know what? I will, but in a different way. I'll pull that one through, and now the best part will be uh, to get it around the C clip inside. So I will stick my hook inside, and I will simply go and simply going to pull through this single leftover bend through the whole stomach till I reach approximately approximately the same position as the C clip and then I'm going to see if I can find it and I can I need to go a little bit further and then all there is to it is to find that C clip whoops not get anything else in between Dun. Let you so get it popped up a tiny bit and then C clip that band and then we are going to stuff it inside again. And there you go, it's hidden. Well it will definitely look a bit weird right now, but that is what I told you guys before. You need to wire your project in order to make it get the right shape here. Oh, I forgot about this band. I did. I thought I'd just attach that band. Oh, like, yeah, you can see I did something wrong here. I forgot about this band in the neck. You can simply wrap it around the neck, of course, but that won't look as pretty. So I will also pull it through. Uh, you can see clip it, but I think I will just pull it through and leave it inside the body. It won't come out anytime soon and I still need to wire it. So there we go. This is your finished Siamese cat. But like I said, you need to wire it so you can push up the neck and give it more of a shape. Also the paws of course but this is your finished Siamese cute it's very cute and if you wire it up you can really shape it like this so I really hope you guys enjoyed this uh, tutorial and I hope you will make uh, you can even try to make different uh, projects out of it maybe make a tiny tiger or uh, another animal I would love to see those so tag me uh, in uh, Instagram and show me pictures or uh, on Facebook that would be awesome subscribe to my channel if you haven't done it already by clicking this uh, tiny uh, play button here or wait for the outro and click beside my head to subscribe and well uh, 
the more subscribers the more whole uh, animals I will create so uh, thumbs up for you guys supporting me I really uh, like that and I will hope this will be a very uh, good year for all of us and that many more designs may appear on my channel so enjoy your day I hope you enjoyed this video and again Cynthia, uh, Princess Cynthia uh, the cat uh, this one was for you I hope your owner liked this bye bye guys be creative